Cinema is the ultimate pervert art. It doesn't give you what you desire, it tells you how to desire. Before we even deal with Zizek's quote, we have to ask, what do art and philosophy have to do with each other? Typically, philosophy has been the work of academics, who utilize the surfaces provided in written language to flesh out complex ideas. Art has found its way into philosophical conversation due to its ability to express clearly definable meaning within its medium. Art doesn't just fill up your empty tank, so to speak. It isn't the same thing as satiating hunger or thirst. It is something that requires you to respond. Which brings us back to Zizek's point. Cinema, or film, are, in his opinion, about telling you how to feel. We've all heard that good art is meant to make you feel something. And this is how most filmmakers actually think of their work. Listen to this quote from Federico Fellaini, director of the films Eight and a Half in La Strada. I don't like the idea of understanding a film. I don't believe that rational understanding is an essential element in the reception of any work of art. Either a film has something to say to you, or it hasn't. If you are moved by it, you don't need it explained to you. If not, no explanation can make you moved by it. So it seems like filmmakers themselves shy away from the typical work of philosophy, calling things by their proper names, as Socrates might call it. You find a stone, you discover the nature of a stone, you determine why it is a stone and not a waterfall, and now you know what you need to know about a stone. Pretty straightforward, but it requires explanation. But if a film is not about explanation, it is instead more like art, looking to make you feel something, how can I really call that philosophy? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned because I'm about to explain in the next series of videos.